children from myself, Bishop Pat, the Bishop of the Diocese to which your school belongs. And all your teachers and all of you are part of something bigger than you, which is the Diocese of Meath and Kildare. And the Diocese of Meath and Kildare belongs to God. So I'm just coming on to say, I know that you have your school service. I am delighted that you're going to be able to get, to get together even virtually on Zoom, even if you can't get together physically, which we hope we're going to be able to do next year for our diocesan school service. So I am delighted to see you all. I know it's the end of term. You may be very excited or you may have had enough time at home and you're not excited at all. But whichever you are, I have this little ball in my office and it just says grateful. And when I feel the need to be grateful, I look at this little ball and sometimes I squeeze it and I roll it in my hand and I remind myself to be grateful. At the beginning of this school service, I would ask you to be grateful for your teachers, for your education, for your school, for your friends, and for the Diocese of Meath and Kildare to which you belong. I hope that you have a really, really good diocesan school service this year, which is going to look different from the ones we've had before, but is still so much valuable and very much worth doing. And so I greet you all in the name of the Lord. Remember the words in the first chapter of the book of Proverbs. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. My name is John Clark, chairperson of our Meath and Kildare Diocesan Board of Education, and it gives me great pleasure to greet you on behalf of the board and to add my words of welcome to this end of term 2021 online school service. What an extraordinary year it's been for us all, and especially for you learning and teaching in different and difficult circumstances, adjusting to new regulations and being in and out of the classroom setting and working remotely from home. I want to say a big well done for embracing the necessary technology and on your achievements during the year. Every blessing to those of you in sixth class who've reached the end of your term in primary education and as you prepare for secondary school in September. Thank you to everyone who is taking part in leading this service and to the Reverend Eugene Griffin for his editing skills. To all of you joining in, enjoy this service and your summer break. Together we give thanks for our schools in Meath and Kildare for the opportunities of learning and teaching. With gratitude in our hearts, we give glory and thanks to God for his many blessings. Grace, mercy and peace to you from God. May he fill us with truth and joy. The opening song. And Eugene then to the closing. Going forth as God's children, we go in the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Hi there, everybody. It is so lovely to have been asked to play for your choral festival that I know is being sent out to all of our schools in Meath and Kildare. Now, I'm not sure if we can sing in class, but certainly if there are some actions, you can join in them. Or maybe if you're in a big enough space, you might be able to join in the songs. I'm going to begin with a couple of fun songs. The first song is Hallelujah, 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 Praise Ye the Lord. And something that's really important about this song is that the hallelujahs are sung by the girls and the praise ye the lords are sung by the boys. Now I'll have to sing it all so that you can hear. But so remember, hallelujah is sung by the girls and praise the Lord is sung by the boys. So here it goes. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. Now that's easy, isn't it? So let's try it. You ready? One, 
too. Alleluia, 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 praise ye the Lord. Alleluia, 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 praise ye the Lord. Now let's try the chorus. It swaps around. This is the way it goes. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Alleluia, praise ye the Lord. Alleluia, praise ye the Lord. So let's try the chorus. Praise ye the Lord. Alleluia, praise. Hallelujah, praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, praise ye the Lord. Okay, so let's try it all together. Ready? Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, praise ye the Lord. Now, the proper way to sing is that when you're singing, I want you to stand up, and when you're not singing, if you sit down. So remember, if when you're singing, stand up. When you're not singing, sit down. So let's try it. So it starts off with girls on your feet for a hallelujah. You ready? One, two. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Guys, praise ye the Lord. Girls, hallelujah. another song. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Here we go. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Oh, wonderful love. So high, you can't get over it. So low, you can't get under it. So so wide you can't get round it oh wonderful love jesus love is very wonderful In the presence of God, whose word has called the earth and stars into being, we praise his holy name. In the presence of God, whose arms hold all his children, we praise his holy name. In the presence of God, whose breath has stirred within us and caused our hearts to thirst for justice, love and peace, we praise his holy name. Heavenly Father, we come in need before you. Giver of life, we come in faith, in search of love, healing, and wholeness. Be with us, hear us, we pray. Amen. Father, forgive us for the times we have denied that we know you. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, forgive us for the people we have harsh or ignored. Christ, have mercy. Gracious Spirit, forgive us for the ways we misuse your love. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God forgive us and give us courage and strength to turn away from sin and to follow Christ. Amen. Eternal God, bless our school and all places of learning. May I 
all who teach and all who learn be endowed with love, wisdom, and understanding. Bless our leisure, relaxation, and holidays. May we be refreshed and serve you all our days. This we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. First reading, Psalm 150. Hallelujah. Praise God in his holiness. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his acts of power. Praise him for his passing greatness. Praise him with the blast of the trumpet. Praise him with the harp and the lyre. Praise him with trimble and dancing. Praise him with strings and pipe. Praise him with ringing cymbals. Praise him upon the clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Hallelujah. is from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 7, beginning at verse 24. Jesus said, Everyone then who hears these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall because it had been founded on rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not act in them will be like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat against that house and it fell and great was its fall. Now when Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were astounded at his teaching for he taught them as one having authority and not as their scribes. Believing, responding, let us remind ourselves of the things we believe as we say. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello. My name's Luke, and I'm the chaplain of Wilson's Hospital School. I'm also the youth officer for the whole of Meath and Kildare, and it's great to be with you this morning on our end of year service. So we've just had a story read to us from the Bible, and Jesus is talking about two men who build a house each. One of them builds a house on the stone, and the other one builds a house on the sand. And in front of me here, I have not got houses, unfortunately, I can't build a house, but I can get some little stones and I've leaned them together here. One of them is on a nice big piece of stone here, and the other one is on a big old pile of sand. Now, in the story, Jesus told us that the stone represented the wise man putting his trust in Jesus's actions and putting them into practice. So he listened to what Jesus said, he'd seen what Jesus had done, and he put them into practice in his own life. The foolish man didn't, ignored what Jesus said, didn't follow what he did. And Jesus said that the floods came up, the rain came down, and one of the houses 
disappeared. So here I have, <laughs> it's not a flood, it is a watering can. But this represented in Jesus' story all the trouble and all the problems that might come at us in life. So let's see what happens when we tip some water on the stone first of all. And I'm just going to be very careful with the camera here. Okay, so nothing there really. All kind of staying around, isn't it? I am getting slightly wet feet. But the stones are still up. The house has stayed where it is. Let's see what happens when the water goes onto the sand. Yeah. That didn't even last very long, did it? So unsurprisingly, it turns out sand is not a great place to build a house. It's not a very firm foundation, whereas rock is. But of course, it's much easier to build on sand. It's much easier to dig. You'd do that at the seaside, wouldn't you? You'd dig into the beach. But you wouldn't spend your time trying to dig into rock with a plastic spade. You'd be there a long time. And so Jesus' story is supposed to show us that it is harder building on rock but it's so much better. Now, this year, I'm sure, has been hard for lots of us. We had a whole time when we couldn't even go to school. And if we did, we had to wear masks and do the whole hand sanitizing thing. It's been a really tough year. It's been quite difficult. And in fact, it could be like a big flood coming at you, really. You might have felt under pressure this year. I know I have. But Jesus says to us, that if we put our trust in his actions, if we follow him, then our foundations will stay firm. So it is harder to build on Jesus's actions. It's harder to do what he tells us to do. For example, he tells us to forgive those that hurt us. He tells us to love one another. He tells us to be generous and be kind. That's hard to do all the time. But doing things our own way isn't going to help us when things get tough. So Jesus is telling us here that it might be tough to do what he does. But when hard things happen, it will help us and it will stand firm and we can trust Jesus to help us through. So at the end of this hard year, I just want to ask you a question. What have you learned? What one lesson have you learned this year about how to get through when things are hard. How has Jesus helped you this year? I just want to encourage you as the summer comes and as next year you start a new school, some of you might even be coming to Wilson's. But I want to encourage you over the summer to remember those lessons that you learned, to remember that it's much, much better to put Jesus' actions into practice, to trust him. And it's so much better for us in the long run than going our own way and trying to do our own thing. I hope you have a great summer and I'll see you soon. Praise Lord God, we greet you with joy and gladness. We praise you for your creative power and fatherly care. We praise you for your son, Jesus Christ, and for the power of your Holy Spirit and for the strong foundation upon which our faith is built. Lord God, we praise and glorify your holy name, amen. God our Father, we are sorry for our sins, for not following your guidance and for ignoring your will for our lives, for behaving just as we wish without thinking of you, for letting ourselves be drawn away from you by temptations in the world about us. Father, forgive us, we pray. Heavenly Father, with grateful hearts, we give thanks for our schools, for the opportunities of learning and for our achievements over the past year. We thank you for the summer holidays and for the opportunity to relax, for fun and games and for all the good things you give us to enjoy, for the love and care of our parents, guardians and friends, and for the joys of family life. Loving Lord, we thank you. We pray for our schools and colleges, for their management and for all partners in education. We pray for all teachers, pupils and students. We pray especially for those who are sitting the leaving certificate examination. Help us to love you, do your will and to take care of all the good things you have given us. Lord, graciously hear us. Forgive those who trespass.
step along the world I go One more step along the world I go From the old things to the new Keep me traveling along with you And as from the old I travel to you Keep me traveling along with you Round the Our closing prayer. At the end of this school year, we give thanks to God for all the teaching and learning that has taken place in our school and in our classrooms, inside and out, for the talents and gifts that have been shared and the challenges that have been met, for the burdens that have been lifted and the hearts that have been healed for the respect and care that has been given. We give thanks to you, Father God, for the friendships that have begun and the friendships that have grown, for the faith that we have lived in our daily lives and for the love that has kept us going. We give thanks for our school community and our parishes. And we ask you, Lord, to bless our students as they transition from sixth class into secondary school and those who are joining us next September as junior infants. May your spirit inspire all of them with confidence and with love. Bless our families as we take our holidays. May our time together leave us with memories to cherish in the years to come. And pour out your love on us that we will return in September renewed and refreshed to continue our journey together. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, children, I hope that you enjoyed that diocesan school service, which, as I said at the beginning, looks different, but still means that we're together and that we belong to one another. And so at the end of this school term, I want to wish you all the best for the summer and to tell you to mind yourselves and to mind your parents and your friends. And so I'm going to finish with a blessing that Jesus brings to you. Christ the Good Shepherd comes with peace to those who are near and to those who are far off. The leading of the Good Shepherd bring you into ways of peace and light protect you through the dark valley and keep you in love and life eternal. And the blessing of God Almighty, 
the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. And remember this summer to be grateful to God. Goodbye. Going forth as God's children, go in the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.